10 impressive mega construction projects in Ghana. Ghana is a West African country which spans the Gulf of Guinea and the Atlantic Ocean to the south, sharing borders with the Ivory Coast in the west. With over 31 million people, Ghana is the second most populous country in West Africa, after Nigeria. The capital and largest city is Accra. Other major cities include Kumasi, Tamale, and Sekondi Takoradi. Ghana is an average natural resource in rich country possessing industrial minerals, hydrocarbons, and precious metals. It is an emerging designated digital economy with mixed economy hybridization and an emerging market. It has an economic plan target known as the Ghana Vision 2020. This plan envisions Ghana as the first African country to become a developed country between 2020 and 2029 and a newly industrialized country between 2030 and 2039. To see this happen, they are constructing a lot of infrastructure to aid in the realization of this dream. Most innovative architects in Ghana have set out to respond to one of society's greatest challenges, designing a world today that can adapt to a radically different tomorrow. From energy and power to healthcare, Ghana has a well-balanced range of projects that have broken ground. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial business and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you are missing out. 10. Teni Korshi Koko Museum the establishment of the cocoa museum is in line with the vision of the government to promote local consumption of cocoa. Lebanese Ghanaian firm KDY Architectural Group is hoping to revive the Ghanaian village of Mampong while celebrating its past and aiding its economic upliftment. The founders of KEY have conceptualized the Teddy Kwarshi Cocoa Museum, which they plan to build on the farm where the first cocoa seeds were planted in Ghana. The area holds particular significance in the story of Ghana's economic growth. The plans, which were commissioned by Ghana's tourism department, includes the museum itself, an amphitheater, a multi-purpose hall, a restaurant, landscape gardens, and a factory. The design also proposes that the whole process from cocoa harvesting through to fermentation, roasting, and manufacturing be accommodated at the site. 9. Pakwasi Inter-Exchange The project, which is the first of its kind in the West Africa region and second only to South Africa in the whole of Africa began on July 3, 2018 after a sod-cutting ceremony presided over by Yaw Asako Mafo, a senior minister of Ghana. The Pakwasi Interchange project is being constructed in GA North Municipal District, one of the 29 districts in Greater Accra Region, Ghana. The project is being executed under the Accra Urban Transport Project and supervised by the DUR under the Ministry of Roads and Highways. The Awashi Pakwasi Interchange Project is mainly aimed at removing the traffic jam at the Pakwasi ACP junction by preventing streams of traffic conflicting with one another from the Awashi Pakwasi and Accra Kumasi roads. Apart from the main interchange, there are also a number of ancillary works incorporated into the project to provide improvement and upgrade of adjoining communities. They include the construction of drains, a little over 10 km of town roads, two footbridges that come with a ramp for the physically challenged, and a tunnel to serve water to communities that are not connected to the Ghana Water Company Limited Network. 8. Accra Sky Train the Accra Sky Train will be the first of its kind to grave the African continent. The Ghanaian government compromised on a deal with the African Investment Sky Train Consortium to build the 2.6 billion US dollar light railway network back in 2019 to align the nation's ambition to rehabilitate, upgrade, and advance its dysfunctional railway system. Casualty of the COVID-19 pandemic, construction work on the Accra Sky Train, Ghana's first light rail project, was delayed. Construction work will commence with the government's approval, and this is expected to happen in September this year and developed over three phases. 
The project is envisioned to aid with Accra's agonizing traffic since the SkyTrain has the capacity to hold about 380,000 passengers each day. The Ghana Ministry of Railway Development is the client and Wilson Bailey Homes in Aachen will do construction work. Seven, the signature. Accra's landscape will witness a truly world-class development when the top-of-range design of the Signature Towers into the skyline in the coming months. The Signature, which is developed by Cape May Properties, blends modern architectural and engineering concepts with a unique African design in a way that makes it both striking and inspiring. The Signature is located in a prime location close to the Katoka International Airport, Accra Mall and Airport City, a gorgeous cluster of luxury infused into two pairs of identical towers located in the Accra. The infrastructure is unique and conveys a message of strength and resilience inspired by Ghana's adding car emblem. The framework will consist of 209 apartments. The concept of the signature laces its sophisticated architectural spectacle with a number of resourceful amenities, such as gyms, yoga, ballet spaces, and pool sidebars complementing the swimming pool and an indoor and outdoor playground displaying a reasonable amount of flora. The 13th floor is estimated to cost about $50 million. Construction is expected to be completed this year. Assembly Plant The ceremony took place at Toyota Tsusho Manufacturing Company, Limited at Free Zones Enclave, Tema. Ikiro Kashitani, President and Chief Executive Officer of Toyota Tsusho Corporation, announced in 2019 that the company will start assembling its vehicles in Ghana from August 2020. The decision to establish the assembling plant in Ghana was announced at the 7th Tokyo International Conference on African Development, Ticket 7, in Japan, where President Muhammadu Buhari had in a meeting with Keishitani, asked Toyota to establish a plant in Nigeria. Akufo Addo had set the signing of the MoU with Toyota Tsusho Falls in line with the vision of making Ghana an automotive hub for West Africa and the larger African market. He said Ghana is the base to reach the larger African market with the coming into force of the African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA. Speaking at the event, Akufo Addo said he is pleased that the sighting of the plant has become a reality despite claims by some persons that it was only a hoax which will never see the light of day. Five, Humessi International Airport Expansion. Humessi International Airport, IATA, KMS, located in Humessi, the capital city of Ashanti, Ghana, is operated by the government of Ghana. The airport offers international and domestic aviation services to passengers in the Ashanti region and nearby areas. It is regarded as one of the busiest international airports in the country. Known for its regional airline operations, the airport is undergoing an expansion to transform it into a full-fledged international airport. The expansion project forms part of the multimodal transportation system being developed by the government to enhance tourism in the Ashanti region. The airport has witnessed a steady rise in passenger traffic over the recent years. The expansion will also serve the growing demand by adding capacity to serve international passengers. The expansion project at Kumasi International Airport is being carried out in two phases. A 29 million US dollars rehabilitation project was carried out under phase one by December 2014. Aeronautical ground lighting systems were installed and the existing runway was rehabilitated under the project. Groundbreaking for the 66.35 million euros, 75.23 million US dollars. Second phase of the expansion project was held in November 2018. Phase two involves construction of a new passenger terminal and multiple service facilities at the airport. The new terminal will have the capacity to handle more than 1 million passengers a year upon its completion. The existing runway will be extended from the current length of 1,981 meters to 2,300 meters, enabling the airport to accommodate wide-body aircraft such as Boeing 737-800. Four, Ghana's solar-powered airport. 
Ghana's airports will soon go green thanks to a government project that aims to equip every airport in the country with solar power plants to supply electricity. In order to implement this project, the Ghanaian government has sought Indian expertise. It is within this framework that Joseph Kofi Atta, the Ghanaian Minister of Aviation, recently received the Indian High Commissioner to Ghana, Sugan Rajaram. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss the progress of the Ghanaian government's project. The authorities of this West African country have already signed a partnership agreement with Kachin International Airport in the southern Indian state of Kerala. This is the world's largest and first airport powered solely by solar energy with a 40 megawatts peak photovoltaic solar power plant. A team from Kachin International Airport came to Ghana and assessed the country's airports to determine the cost of the project and the amount of an exempt Bank of India financing facility of about 10 million US dollars that would be used to convert all the country's airports to solar power, said Ghana's Aviation Minister Joseph Kofiata. Katoka International Airport in Ghana is likely to be the first to benefit from the solar project for the country's airports. The authorities intend to build a solar power plant with a capacity of 6 megawatts peak. Katoka is Ghana's largest airport, serving the capital Accra, with a capacity of more than 1 million passengers a year. The Ghanaian Ministry of Aviation estimates that solar power could cut airport electricity bills by up to 30%. Green energy will also reduce the carbon footprint of Ghana's airports. 3. Petronia City Project Petronia City is the vision of CEOs and founder of Wonder World Estates, Nana Queen Bidiako. Designed around the ideology of work, live, learn and play, Petronia City is a self-sustaining, master-planned, integrated city. It will attract, retain and support businesses, human capital needs and elevate Ghana's western region into a world-class business location, tourist destination and home. The city's 2,000-acre development will include residential, office, industrial, commercial, leisure and hospitality space. It will be the first at the heart of the western region of Ghana, home to the country's rapidly growing oil, gas, and mining industries. The Petronia City project will unroll in three phases over the next 10 years. It kicked off in October 2013 with full acquisition of construction machinery and equipment. It was then followed by clearing of about 200 acres of the site, as well as the access roads and service areas. Phase 1 of the project consists of a 70-acre prototype of the entire development beginning with the construction of world-class basic infrastructure such as electricity, water system, sewage treatment, storm water drainage, parking and bus terminal, master plan road network data, telecom networks and development of commercial and residential facilities which include 4-star hotel. Two. Ghana National Cathedral The Ghana National Cathedral is envisioned as a physical embodiment of unity, harmony and spirituality. Drawing reference from both Christian symbolism and traditional Ghanaian heritage, such as the nation's seat of power the stool, as well as the shade of celestial authority the Bowman ceremonial canopies and the tabernacle the new cathedral takes these symbols of royal and religious veneration and democratizes them from the individual to the people. A J Associates concept for the new Ghana National Cathedral establishes a unique, 21st century landmark where religion, democracy and local tradition are seamlessly and symbolically intertwined. Conceived as a physical embodiment of unity, harmony and spirituality, the National Cathedral will be a rich, authentic celebration of Ghanaian tradition and culture and a place of inspiration, reflection and common devotion. Its form derives from traditional symbols of worship and veneration drawing reference from both Christian symbolism and traditional Ghanaian heritage. Emblems like the nation's seat of power the stool, the chain of celestial authority the bowman, ceremonial canopies, and the tabernacle inspire the configuration. One, the Marine Drive Project. The Marine Drive Project is a public-private partnership project it is a 241-acre redevelopment scheme of Accra's waterfront initiated by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. 
The brief for the project the origins of which trace back to the country's independence 60 years ago called for a scheme that would establish an iconic skyline for Accra and transform the capital city center into a world-class tourism enclave. The Marine Drive will also provide essential infrastructure to support the country's developing cultural and creative industries. A J Associates plan introduces a new waterfront promenade that reimagines the coast as a vibrant leisure and recreation space. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification.